It's a very sad rendition, of course, because it's so tied up with his own life and death. Um, so it takes on all these different shades for me. Because I also remember fairly clearly my state of mind when I was actually writing it, which was, I, I guess, some as near to a mystical state that a 19-year-old can get into. <laughs> uh, and I remember it was at a time when I was sort of studying Buddhism, uh, for my, my 15 minutes of Buddhism. Um, so it's, it, it's interesting that it changed. It, it really had two mystical states, the time that I wrote it and recorded it, and the time when he wrote it. Uh, when he wrote it again, when he recorded it, and the things that led up to his end after that. So I guess it still retains for me a sense of the, of the mystical thing. And you play those songs? Yeah, the yeah. We're, again, we do a, a yet another very different version. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of trance-like still. Well, it always was trance-like, but I think I'd probably push that in even further. Now. 